what's up guys it's Thyrope here with another video and today's video is going to be the second episode in our series trying to be all PvE content and only 12 6 stars. So if you don't know what the series is go ahead and check out the introduction video. We'll leave that in the description if you don't know the rules for this. But basically me and Spyro made a shared account and here it is right here. And we're basically trying to be all PvE content with only 12 6 stars. So that means Giants B10, Dragons B10, Necro B10, R5 and TOA normal 100 all with only 12 6 stars so that doesn't include TOA 100 hard and it also does not include the elemental rifts but everything else we're trying to beat with only 12 6 stars so we've improved a little bit since the last episode which was about a week ago last episode we had just 5 star this lapis it was like level 20 something this Colleen was 4 star level 20 something and the Bernard was 4 star max and that's really all we had we had some three stars, but since then, we've gotten this Bella. We've awakened it. We've put runes on it. The Basalt, we awakened, four-starred, and we are going to put runes on him soon. I haven't put runes on him yet, but we will. Same thing with Mav. I just awakened him a little while ago. So we awakened, four-starred, and I'll rune him soon. And then we got Breon in the last episode out of Summoning Stone, so if you want to check that out, that is in the first episode. But we do intend to build this guy. He's very, very good. We need to awaken him and everything. And then we have some of these other monsters. Now, I did try and record this video a second ago, but it crashed, so we lost that recording. And I did open four Mysticals. We didn't get anything really good. We got the Taoist, the Charger Shark, the Harg, and then we got this Serpent. So nothing too special. You guys didn't miss all that much, but... We are going to probably use that to fodder, and then we'll make some 4 stars. And then we'll 5 star one of these monsters, either Breon probably, maybe Bella, Basalt, I don't know who yet. We'll think about that later. If you guys have a suggestion on who our next 5 star should be, go ahead and leave that in the comments. Who you guys think our next 5 star should be. I'm thinking our first 6 star might honestly be Lapis. Because Lapis can first of all farm some stuff, so that'll definitely help. And I think Lapis will be good in a lot of stuff like giants and dragons and stuff. I feel like we could find a way to use her in a lot of stuff after this recent buff she has. She's pretty good. So if you agree with us, 6 starring Lapis, go ahead and leave that in the comments. Or if you think there's someone better, we should make our first 6 star, leave that in the comments too. So I'll let you guys look over some of these runes. So there's Lapis's runes, and we haven't changed these runes since last episode. We haven't really changed anyone's runes, we've just added runes to some people. There's Kona, looks like he just has 3 star energy runes. And then Colleen has this swift energy set, HP, HP accuracy. There's Bernard's stats, he's on the energy pick ticket runes we got all HP those are some pretty decent runes in terms of this account especially these are pretty decent so we also got this Breon ruined up with swift energy and we have HP 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 on the Breon and then Mav we haven't ruined yet Basalt we also haven't ruined yet here's Bella's runes we have swift and a broken set HP defense and accuracy and we have runes on the shannon we don't really use shannon all that much anymore we haven't even upgraded these runes yet we'll probably take those off soon and give them to basalt or mav or someone else that we use more we also don't really use this very much but these runes aren't too good anyways that's kind of how the account is looking right now at the moment we can farm hall of magic b5 around and we can farm hall of dark b6 Hall of Water B5 and Hall of Wind B5. So we're trying to get those up so we can get the essences to awaken like Lapis and Breon and stuff. Because B5 just doesn't drop that many highs, guys. So we're turning up to B6, B7 or whatever. So we can get some highs, awaken Lapis, awaken Breon. That would be awesome if we could awaken those two. That would really, really help. I was doing Hall of Dark earlier to awaken that Basalt, and we did indeed do that. I was also doing Hall of Wind. We awaken Mav. We just need to awaken Breon now and Lapis. So that's kind of where we're sitting right now. Mainly just B5 on these dungeons. We got a few friends recently. And if you guys do want to friend us, feel free. The reps are definitely going to help us. And we would love it if you guys did friend us. The account name is 12 Star PVE, as you can see. Just go ahead and send us a friend request. And we'll accept it. We still have 33 spots left. And the reps would really help. So if you guys want to do that. And we would greatly appreciate that. So I'll do a few arena battles. Because we are full on wings right now. So we are wasting wings right now. So I'll do a few of these. And then hopefully we can maybe rune up Basalt in this episode. And then we can 
called that the end of this episode. The Lapis should take this guy out pretty easy. All right, now resurge, and there we go. We just know how to kill this Hellhound. All right. Uh, I'll do a few more, I'll look for some more battles, and then I'll go ahead and we'll get into ruining Basalt. It's always weird for me to do Arena on this account because I feel like I get attack like all these guys, you know, because I'm used to playing on my main. But I have to remember that the units on this account aren't that good. But we can take people like this. We're not really trying to climb ranks right now, so I don't mind attacking farmers. We're just trying to get glory, get the devil mons and everything like that every week. So we can devil mon some of our good monsters. I'm thinking we'll probably devil mon... Breon, but I don't actually know yet. Hopefully we can take this guy. But yeah, if, if you have an idea on who we should Devilmon, go ahead and also leave that in the comments. But I think Breon might be the best choice to get that revive faster, as well as to get that AoE sword break back faster. All right, let's resurge. And we gotta kill this Lapis or do something to it soon before it does too much damage to us. Oh, that Charger Shark actually hit kind of hard. <laughs> All right, so let's sword break the Lapis. Oh, this guy. Okay, so this guy probably has that vampire revenge set you get on his lap is i don't know i didn't check if he had vampire but i don't know he had the he definitely had a revenge set we were thinking about putting that vampire revenge set on lapis so in order to farm something more efficiently than he is right now but we didn't get much crit rate out of our rolls so we're thinking about maybe we might still but we don't know yet i might be able to take that guy but i just don't know that fuko you know i'll try it i should probably be using briand or something but Whatever. Hopefully we can beat this guy. I don't know if we can or not. But it doesn't hurt to try really because we don't really have any rank to lose. The only thing it is bad is because we're kind of just wasting a wing if we lose. But it's alright. So if my Kona goes... Oh, we stunned that. Oh, that's too bad. Alright, well, they stunned the Lapis. The Fuko is going to be good because of that shield. Ooh, and our lap is about to die. It looks like we might lose this battle, guys. Okay, we killed the Bernard. Alright, we got we got to um somehow... Well, the Lapis is going to die, it looks like. Let's kill the Kona. Not quite. Should I sword break? Yeah, we got the sword break. It doesn't really matter. We can kill that. We'll try and kill this Lapis, but... Oh, things are not looking too good. I don't know why I just did that, but it's alright. So let's Tailwind. Let's... I'm going to research Colleen. Maybe he has his heal back. Alright, nice. I was hoping Colleen had her heal back. And we're going to have to kill this Lapis soon. Alright, well, Colleen's dead. We're going to need... Alright, Peace. And let's... Hopefully that'll kill. Nope. Maybe nah. Alright, let's research this. Kill. Alright, nice. So it's 2v1, but he does have the arcane tower with him as well. Let's get the speed buff. Hopefully we can just outspeed this guy, but he does have that passive that puts the speed debuff on. So Conan's gonna die, yes. So 1v1, but he has the arcane tower, so... I don't think... No, and he has the shield. So yeah, we're not going to win this, guys. There's not really any way, so that was just a waste of time, I guess, but it's alright. Ooh, that guy has Zyros already. A lot of these people, I feel like, have really, like, good monsters down here, and I don't know how. Alright, let's... Hopefully we can win this battle, guys. I was about to say war, but this isn't a guild war. It's an arena fight. Okay, that should kill some people. There we go. Alright, this is more like it. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I think that I'll do the rest of the wings off camera. Alright, guys. I was going to ruin Basalt, but I'll just do the off camera too. I think it might take too much time. And I don't know if you guys really want to see that. So I'll do that after this video. But anyways, guys. I think that is going to wrap up this video. If you have any ideas for this series, like if you have any suggest to make this series better leave that in the comments if you have any ideas on what we should do like who we should six star and who we should build leave that in the comments so if you have any other questions comments or concerns also leave those in the comments guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video